Uh, Alright guys, we're gonna back more Final Fantasy I was about to say some remake, Final Fantasy 15. Uh, we're continuing on. Yeah, the car. Just doing that episode here. I'm listening to Tang on Chung's live stream. About the stuff watch, that so that's something. Um yeah, this will probably and be it for today. I'm not there. like I'm not in a big rush to the points. Uh, like um, got uh, the experience like we're, and we're like lot, fucking like eight months right out for or not eight months, seven months out for when I need to have this video done. <laughs> Um, so I'm not really in a big, big rush here to be playing this. There's other bigger priorities for me, uh, right now. But it's like, I might as well be playing it right now because like I have nothing else I need to play. So if I'm going to play something, it's like I might as well play something yeah, Bruno, that at uh, least Kevin was progresses saying, the channel. Heard, but Kevin the was channel saying forward, that he but... likes to play with a, a timer, a time limit on the moves that you can um, make. I feel like, uh... I feel like that's that's gonna be your kryptonite for now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Every I feel like I talked through most of what I want to talk about. Again, like uh. Sometimes I wonder. This channel might be a bit dry for a bit. Um. Like recently, for the longest time, I've been able to do like one episode consistently every single day. However, because I am starting to stream, that kind of limits that a bit. So really, like I'm probably not going to stream. I'm probably not going to record any Final Fantasy tonight. Probably tomorrow morning, I'll have the time to either. So probably won't be until tomorrow night that we get around to it. Didn't prepare us for this. The final Ugh, week works. So the this car. is something to note. That's actually a good question. Um, it's rude typically, you better apologize. at the final four, they have a special what eviction. Oh, um, that. where uh, they do the eviction like, like over the weekend. Half bird, half storm, half and so by the time the next. By the time the next stock watch round table happens, um, the person is, might be already be gone. Now, the question is, do the feeds cut for that final eviction? Typically they do. They did just have a feed cut, so I don't know. Um, but uh, if the feeds do not cut, and we know for sure who was evicted by the time the next stock watch happens. That person's out. You lose everything. If we do not know for sure, even oh, if we're ninety-nine percent sure we know who was evicted, that person will remain rateable. So will remain in the stock watch, yeah. uh, but we will likely give them ones if we're very sure that they were evicted. Um. So. 
Either way, the person going home at the final four is likely to lose you a, a lot of money. Either, you know, 50%. Uh, or, yeah, I'm kind of thinking, uh, should I just not or 100 put money depending on? Depending on what we see, and we do not know what we see. Um, so, uh, something to note. Fuck. The risk is no. very high. Um, a one in four chance that you lose a lot of money. Uh, for sure. Um, Shall we shop a bit? So, me. keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, so, nice. Brayden, you I will what? say, <clears throat> I will say this about Brayden. Um, Sorry about the wait. Ain't heading into the final four, if he is She's safe, almost too pretty for the road. If he is safe and Ty is safe. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. Actually, let me let me run through the scenarios here because there's only so many scenarios, right? Let's run through, run through some scenarios. Um, Brayden cannot win HOH. He's not playing. So it's gonna be Tara, Ty, or Kiefer. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind Kiefer wins making HOH, a little delivery for me? And Tara wins the veto. And one of Ty or Brayden is out. Either okay. way, that's bad news for Brayden. No, and I don't think he's making a five. Perfect. Thought you'd say if yes. Brayden so wins the veto, he takes the Tara out. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. It's Kiefer, Ty, and Brayden. that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. He would probably get a four from me in that spot. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, not? It might depend on what, what Tara is saying. In exit interviews, uh, if we have them. No, I'll let him do it. You can do it. But, I'll give a shit. Um, not sure I've got what it takes. I see. I, I'd, I'd be at a four or maybe a five for Brayden in the spot where Tara gets evicted. Uh, by Brayden fuck, should I go? The if Ty wins uh, the veto, takes out Tara. Um, and it's definitely a four from me. Um, I forgot about that aspect, too. Yeah, that's really annoying. If. Um, and so. Dude. Key for winning HOH. Overall, pretty bad news for Brayden. If Ty wins HOH, then I believe that if either Kiefer, Kiefer or Tara wins Veto, I think they would both send Brayden out, for more? and he would be you just bet. straight up gone. So, if let me tell you, if I am 99% sure that Brayden is evicted over the weekend, even if we don't get confirmation, I'm giving him a one. Hammerhead um, is like no garage ever. So maybe yeah. he'll make it too, who knows, but of to the crowd. either way, big, big oh, loss. I'll miss uh, it once this road trip's over with. If he wins, there's no reason the veto at Final Four, and evicts Kiefer, sure and so the Final Three is Ty, Tara, and right. Brayden, so, that's what this then is about. I'm giving if him need, I could always lend you a the five regalia. or six. Whoa. Depending on where I feel Ty is, is the offer, in terms but of still if he's willing to take uh, back in the Crown City, right into the final. Uh, I think final I better two. score my own wheels. Um, and where Tara is. Um, if Tara wins HOH and Brayden wins the veto and takes out Ty, okay. or takes out uh, Kiefer. Good. Alright, so Pridium did a, uh, a post last Slightly night that was kind of like a bit worried about, where he, it looked like he was going to do um, a video based around America's favorite player for Survivor. Um, I did get a bit worried that maybe he would do um, a really video that I've Braden. already actually recorded, which is like predicting other fan favorites, but he didn't do that. He just did the that history of the current fan favorites, which is fun. Apart from actually being evicted himself, because if Ty is the one to take out Kiefer, I think that's huge for Ty and really, really bad for Brayden. So uh, that definitely like a three or a four for me. It's it's hard though because like you're they're guaranteed a spot in the final stock two. Up on potions and stuff. Nice. Um, you're being helpful for a change. I want to make sure that, I'm, that my head is in the right space here, heading into the final um, the final three. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Um, well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out. I'd like to look at like so historical records. Oh. I'm thinking about it more, and I'm like, maybe I should just not go. Umbra, bringing us stuff. Because I don't want to. I don't want to be telling you guys like four or five, and then Certainly by the time it gets there, I'm like, you know what? It's so close to the end. Their win way? equity is so high at this point just a that I have to go a little bit higher. Um, so I'm gonna try and process that right now. 
nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah. Um, I guess some historical ratings. Um so, Big Brother 22. Uh, I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. Yeah, I did stream I uh till pretty late yes, last book, night until around three o'clock in the morning. And the stream did hold up, so that's a good sign considering the last time it cut on on me about like two thirty or so, so Hopefully it's just like that was just a one-time thing. Historical data. Uh, <laughs> is it worth it? Like as of right now, I'm going all in on Ty. Um, all set. There is a chance Ty Take goes home. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, don't I... say. I'm tell trying to done. look. Let's see ourselves to go. Ah! I don't remember what I rated anyone. Hold on. I'm trying to find the stats. Uh... Okay, Big Brother 21. Okay, I guess. Everything in order. Uh, yep. I gave Jackson a nine, Holly a six, Nicole a three. Is that true? What I did. Can't tell. Or is that the average? Is there an easy way to look at this? I've, I'm looking at Christine's For our next stats, story, Lady uh, Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart. My on receiving word of this coming piece. Historical Nor ratings. the pride I take in my betrothal uh, playing a part in this historic moment. For some reason, I want her voice be higher. Some have voiced cause for concern. Sorry, guys. I fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please I apologize. Assured, my marriage will not stand in the way Maybe of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages. As you always have. Okay, in the final week of BB22, I gave Cody a 10, Enzo a 3, Nicole a 5. Alone, is the BB10 9 finale thing ever, like, has that been announced yet? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. In the convenience. final week of a Big Brother 21, I, gave, I did give Jackson a 9, Holly a 6, Nicole a 3. What's that? I do? Buzz off. I was very curious about Big Brother 20 as well. I gave uh, oh, Tyler this a six. 9, Casey an 8, and JC. Is that true? Well, like, have we formally seen that? So if that's true, then I'm gonna have to adjust the schedule hey, a bit, which is fine. I like, I, it's actually I the ideal. It, um, it looks kid. like I usually I give, but uh, consistently in Big Brother US, at least, I give no, the person. I don't feel like it's been confirmed in there. Quite the difference is that in Big Brother US, they go to kick back we know and get what happens with unsavory the seafood. It's famous in the way. And it would be perfect if it finishes on the sex. In Big Brother Canada. Seven, I gave Dane and Anthony both nines. Uh, I gave Adam a three. And Kira a four. Interesting. That's actually the last time we had any sort of final rating for Big Brother Canada. It was canceled. Um, why did I give Adam a three? Our supply of Do we have reason to believe gotcha. that Adam... Melissa gave Adam an eight. <sighs> Is that because we missed? Huh? We we thought that Adam would still have a chance to talk them into keeping him. Is that is that why? <clears throat> I forgot that we go here so early. Ready to set sail. Because they hadn't told him yet. Find my sea legs first. <laughs> Better hurry. I. I 
gave Kira a four just because there was still a chance that they would um, win that final three. Uh, Hoh, and uh, I wasn't sure. I think I, I think a four was too generous. So uh, I think, you think in the fairy I think a tale, Lady Luna if, Freya if back to the crown city? Final three, yeah, I would have probably given rushed her a four. Ever after. Or sorry, a three. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm looking at right now. Not, dude. Um. How does it yeah, it looks now? like Camp uh, Watch is saying that finale is more than likely on Thursday, next Thursday, because they currently have it scheduled as a. A two-hour episode, is, is out at four, a which if that's the case, Marley. that's perfect uh, for my schedule. Because that way, I can release my. Um, well, I mean, it's not perfect, perfect, but it's like it's good enough. Like ideally perfect would be Survivors of Africa cast comes out and Big Brother Canada ends and the Circle, and whatever. All the, like I can just get all the shit done in one and straight shot. But. If Ty and um, it, I think it is better if it does, if the finale is next week. A nine. Nine. There's usually a massive front runner. I don't think that's the case this season. So that alone would chop me down to a seven. Then factoring in the gameplay that has gotten them there. You believe what that guy said about the so again, I'm assuming we're probably yeah, going to find out tonight, right? Like, I'm assuming tonight Unless we'll for sure get the announcement of whether or not next week, next, next week. Thursday is the finale. I'm probably capping at a seven max. Which I would guess it would be. Um, I think the only way it's not is if they decide to, uh, like, have an extra... Not, not necessarily an extra week, but more so like they decide just to not have the finale until. Um, it, it's too up in the air. Nobody has. Nobody is enough of a front runner to go above seven. Then factor in gameplay, which has been pretty poor. According to my sources, the end fives or sixes given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame yeah. if you were late to so that's, your own that's wedding. That's what I'm thinking. That's, right? where, that's where my head is at this? right now. I can't right promise right. that it won't like, change. The crown prince but, uh, spelling, that's honey, definitely where my head is at right now. So, um, so yeah, I notice. think Brayden's best position heading report. into the final two Lucky for you, is this reporter has integrity. he wins the veto, he takes out Keith or he I'll goes to the final three with Tara and Ty. Both of Tara and Ty plan on taking Brayden. If all of that happens, Whatever. if all of that happens, the key, he gives a side quest, right? I could definitely hey, see myself I giving him a six. Around. Let me see your map. I could maybe see myself giving him a seven. Mark you know, you if all of that happens, if map. I know for sure that Terra plans are taking Brayden, and Ty plans are taking Brayden, like this one. Brayden just took out Kiefer, this, and Brayden won his fourth straight competition. Don't. And the papers are running out of town. Capiche? If all those things happen. Till next um, time, then. Alright. If any one of those things doesn't happen. Ooh, he's really got your number, Nox. Then Not six like is we the max. Much effort to keep it secret. Even if we have like, if I don't know for sure that Terra will take Brayden, I don't know for sure that Ty would take Brayden, then it's going to gonna drop. Him. If he... If neither of them plan on taking him, it's going to drop. If he doesn't take out Kiefer, it's going to drop. So, if he's on his way out the door, it's going to be it's gonna be a one. It's going to be something real low. So, uh... I could, uh, is there a way for me to project this? Um, it's just, I'm not really feeling that into is the game right now. Is this place amazing or what? The breeze is quite refreshing. I don't do that much here. This is probably the video that I'm upset for right now. Well, sounds like it's made a good first impression. Kiefer's at a six right now. Kiefer at a six. If he won right now, you would double your money. So I'm gonna guess that anybody at a six, you'll about double your money. Ty is at a five, you'll see 131. Um, so I think Brayden caps yeah. out at a All seven, right. which gives you 40% return, which is very good, but a lot of things have to happen and there's a lot of risk attached. If you wait and you decide to put your risk in 
next week. Maybe Sid was right about your lack of dignity. You're you one could step above see delivery, significantly boy. more profit by choosing the winner, but the problem is that a lot of people are going to be doing the same thing, so you might need to get your advantage in early. Okay. It's going to be, I mean, I can't, ultimately I don't think I can make this call, I think everybody is going to have an individual uh, risk tolerance, and, and, and also like depending on where you are on the leaderboard and how much you, know, you want to potentially make. Uh, um, what should I do? Again, one in four chance that you're going to lose a lot of money. I would say one in four chance that somebody, like at least one of these players is going to hit a six or a seven. And that's going to be 23, 38, 21, 39, 22, 37, 20, 32. Um, so I think one of these four players will be a six or a seven. Well, here we are. So you'll get 20 to 40 percent. One of these players will be a two, maybe three at best, which means you're losing probably around 50 percent. Two of these players. Actually, how much do we have? Oh, we have a lot. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty might sad. make nothing. <laughs> might make 12 percent. Wait, what? Why is it we were close, but then... Okay. So that's Brayden. Um, we can talk about Kiefer. Kiefer's the person I think most likely to hit a 7. Um, yeah. An idea for the projections oh, page if I yeah. click on Jeez. 1 to 10 yeah. next week, and then in we're two weeks pops up. Yeah, thing? I'm completely, I'm completely with you, Ariel. I, I was literally just thinking that. Uh, now, obviously, uh, there's only so many features we can we can add. I would not expect anything necessarily, um, but uh, for the distant future, perhaps I would love to uh, be able to project forward. Um, so let's talk about Kiefer. If Kiefer wins the next. If Kiefer wins the final four HOH. Keeper. I don't think it matters. Because um, he's in the final three, all he needs to do is win the final three HOH, which is not gonna be that easy. But I, I'd give him, I guess, I guess Ty going out at four would be best case scenario for Kiefer because it gives him a, 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 a bit more of an edge in anything that is a little bit physical. Ty is just so far above everyone in physical uh, ability. Um, but there haven't been any competitions that have been strictly physical like that, so... Can I return a car? Um, but either way, I think if Ty, if Kiefer wins HOH, I think he's maintaining a 6. I gave him a 5. Audience gave him a 6. Uh, Amon gave him an 8. Now, that 8 did not really impact things, it looks like. He still, he still would have made a 6 if, if Amon had just given him a 6. Um, hey, you want to watch where you're going? But I think he could easily maintain that six as long as he survives. Um, if he wins the veto, again, I don't really care who he takes out as long as he survives. Kiefer in the final three, we know for sure he wins the game in the final two. That's worth a six to me. Okay. Oh, good trash. Worth a six. Um, but I don't think anybody takes him to the final two, and I and I think that he might have trouble winning that final three HOH. So, ways the Kiefer could rise in these ratings. Um, if I know for sure that at least one person is willing to take Kiefer it's to the final two, night, whether it's Brayden, Ty, or Tara, if one of those people show. tells Seriously? me in the diary room or by themselves to the cameras that they plan on taking Kiefer to the final two. Just one person that's in the final three with him. If one person says that in a believable way, I will give him a seven. Uh, honestly, 
probably be a seven. It'd probably be a seven. I'd consider mm. uh, an eight is an eight is tough because they they're gonna change their mind. Hey, buddy. What's up? Um, taking a little stroll. How come you're It'd all probably alone? be a seven for me. You must be hungry. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. That's I'll pretty find much it. Something. That's pretty much it. Got to come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. Now, the difficulty here is that I do think that Brayden would 100% evict Kiefer at the Final Four if he wins the veto. I'm not sure what Ty would do. I'm not entirely sure what Terra would do. I think that Terra is probably leaning toward evicting Brayden or Ty. But you don't know. I think that Ty is probably leaning toward evicting Terra. But you don't know. If Keeper does not win either competition but still survives to the final three, he is still getting at least a six from me. So, uh, Kiefer might be the one, if you want to go risky, he might be the one you want to put your risk into uh, with a small chance of hitting 50% return. Nice uh, work, kid. It would be Sorry very for nice. Such However, a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. By the weekend, you understand, don't you? That one you see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a be masterpiece. Out of it to make it up to you, final. I'll share a little uh, scoop. That special which, coin you got? You know, it commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked finale, them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Return. Come so, back if you want to uh, buy more. It's a huge, huge risk. Liam, I thank you for the ninth month. Like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Then Let's we've got learn from history. Terra. The place this time. Um, if Terra wins the HOH, Kiefer wins As the veto, promised, takes I'm out Brayden or Ty. Your ferry tickets right now. I don't know where Terra stands in terms of, be I think Brayden would take Terra to the final two so over Kiefer. I do not know if Ty would. I admit, I didn't expect uh, I'd be inclined to, to think Ty would, but I don't know for sure. Must be connected if he can pull some um, strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artist. I think she'd have an okay chance at winning. You guys um, ready to I think that Terra is likely... Um. If Terra survives... Wait, 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 wait. I think she's likely I'm not alive to Russia, from me. I'm surprised he gave us one of his pieces. Because that happens so early? I'm looking at it in this range, right? Five to seven for the final three. For the people that are locked in the final three, seven is. What are these you have a good chance to win in the final two, and you have more than a one in three chance of getting to the final two. Six is you just have one of those things. You know, I think we're gonna do Five side quests. Is you don't have through. either of those things Just for sure. So it's not move on yet. But you're in the final three. Yeah. That's kind for of my three. criteria right now. Um, Terra, if she makes it to the final three, I would need to know for sure that she is oh. being taken to the final two by one by somebody, and I would need to know for sure that she uh, can beat whoever she's sitting next to. I don't think I can know for sure that she would be whoever she's sitting next to, and I'm also not sure that I will know that anybody will take her there. Sounds like he and I. Um, especially if Keeper ends up leaving in the final four, I think she's in real, real trouble. Um, He's got a lot more substance too. I can go to sleep. So I think likely a five from me. Likely a five from me. Um, but maybe a six. Very unlikely that she'd get a seven. I don't think I'll know for sure that she can beat. It's bedtime. Because if Sounds Kiefer's good? in the final three, then I know that she can't beat Kiefer. If Kiefer's not in the final three, then she'll be there with Ty and Brayden, who will be taking each other. So she can't be in the position where she definitely beats the person she sits next, sits next to and has uh, a, at least a two and three shot at getting there. So um, I think a six is the maximum. Um, place here for Terra and of course also very vulnerable to potentially yeah. be leaving at the final four. Yeah, so I would say honestly uh, I think I Terra to. is a is a bad buy straight up here. Um I just don't see a lot of uh a lot of potential. Uh whoops. Um and then we have Ty. Ty is at a five. <laughs> so if Ty wins the HOH He's locked into the final three. Um, I think worst case 
worst case for Ty is if Brayden is evicted Damn, in final three. This is a really good shot. And I think that <laughs> I made sure Ty I got the Regalia's good both side. Kiefer and Tara may evict Brayden. Um, so that's actually not great for him. Um, good morning. Hi. Oh, well, this is actually interesting because if Ty wins the HOH. Yeah, we'll, we'll end here. Uh, next episode, we will continue on. We'll probably do some side content. Um, Ty winning the HOH actually might be worst case scenario for him. Yeah. Uh, if Ty is HOH, let's, 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 thank you for watching. Let's assume.